Hey, what's going on, fellas? Just doing a quick little video I thought I'd share with you guys today. I'm making the switch to propane with my oxyhydrogen torch. Now, I used to use an acetone infuser, and it does work great when you've got big jobs and you're out of propane and all that. The only problem with acetone is you cannot control the flame as much. Like, you're just stuck with this huge reducing flame and a reducing flame is great but sometimes it's too reducing with the propane you have a, a little bit more control I call this propane gas modification this process so let's get into it here this is basically our electrolyzer setup if you haven't seen this thing yet Got dual cooling fans there and a radiator system with a flow pump. So I'm going to fire this thing up with the propane first and we'll get a look at the flame. Okay, I'm going to turn the propane on here just a little bit. So we got a pretty good size here. Now we're going to be using about that much gas. Actually, it's going to be about that much right there, I think. But it doesn't like starting off with that much. So I'm going to start with way less. Let's take it down to about right there. I'm going to start the uh, electrolyzer. Oh, shit. I've got ourselves a little backlash there. 1600 watts. And this is the flame we're getting. You see there, you just got so much more control over it. I can make it even bigger than that. That's what you end up with when you put too much acetone in the tank, is that right there? And that's not always the best. I like being able to dial it in very rapidly, and this little T setup allows me to do that. We're gonna braze this part together real quick with some Stay Sill 45, Safety Sill 45. I don't drop this one in the hole which is what's about to happen if I'm not careful so I ain't taking where I need it to shoot I got a little crazy right there on the flag Alright, things were going so well until I hung around too long trying to mend that right there. I think we're good. It just didn't look like it was mending. Or wetting, I should say. See that little gap? But it did. If you look at it real close, down inside there it did. And that's, that's when I lost that blob. Was hanging around, jacking around with that little spot there that don't even mean nothing. It just didn't want to stick to the slag on the weld there. I didn't clean that off quite good enough. But yeah, I like the propane adjustability. 
far better than the acetone because sometimes with the acetone I'm stuck in a, in a situation where I can't get enough heat on the spot quick enough you see now I was heating up everything just too big it makes this huge monster flame that I can't use so that works out great for these small jobs and that's why I did the switch today because I knew I was going to be doing this this is a micro jet engine by the way runs off an air compressor about five horsepower worth 